Okay, I want to go over the Google Doc that I prepared for you to answer the questions for because of Winn-Dixie. So we've read the first three chapters, you've watched the video. I have a Google Doc where I want you to answer six questions. And these are the six questions. It says, answer by restating the question using complete sentences. So we talked about that a lot at school, restating the question. We're not just gonna answer with one word answers. Who's the main character? Opal. We have to use a complete sentence that restates the question. So the first question is asking about point of view. Who is telling the story? From whose point of view is it? So a complete sentence with a sentence stem would be, the narrator is Opal, or you can give her a full name, Opal in the story because of Winn-Dixie. Okay, that's a nice complete sentence telling us who the point of view is coming from, who's telling the narration. Number two, main idea or theme. What is the main idea or theme of the book so far? The main idea so far is, that's the type of sentence stem you would start to restate your answer. What has the story been mostly about? The story has been mostly about whatever you think. Okay, that's a nice complete sentence restating the question. Number three, what Im important events have happened in the story so far? So you're gonna tell me the important events that have happened so far have been, and then you're gonna tell me all the important events, okay? In order would be great. Number four, we're gonna talk about text evidence. Remember text evidence, what is said in the story? It says, what text evidence what is said in the story helps you know what kind of dog we Okay, what does the book say about him that you can picture what he looks like? So not just dreaming it up in your own ideas, but what did the book say? How did the book describe Winn-Dixie? That's text evidence for you to describe what he looks like. So use that text evidence and you can listen again to the read aloud to find those specific examples from the text. Number five, on page 10 in paragraph three, it says, and here's a quote from the book, the dog came trotting over to me. What is a synonym, another word for trotting? So remember, we talked about synonyms. Synonyms mean the same. So is there another word that also means trotting? What's another word? How could you describe the word trotting? That needs a complete sentence too. Restate the question. A synonym for the word trotting is, okay? Number six, on page 11 in paragraph five, it says that when Dixie, quote from the book, mostly looked like a big piece of old brown carpet that had been left out in the rain. This is a metaphor or a comparison. Describe how when Dixie looked in your own words. So that's another literary word we're working with is metaphor. And a metaphor is when an author describes something in a different term. So if they said the dog was brown, that's one way of describing Winn-Dixie, but they used a metaphor. Winn-Dixie was like an old brown piece of carpet that had been left out in the rain. Isn't that so much more vivid than just he was brown? No, now you're really picturing what Winn-Dixie may have looked like. So my question to you is, a number six, describe how Winn-Dixie looked in your own words. So you're gonna describe using what the author said, how would you describe what Winn-Dixie looked like? All right, that's the Google Doc for you. I want you to type up your answers and then go back to Empower and submit it. All right, and I'll see the Google Doc on my end. Great job.